lot lately. I'm so sorry you're going through this. I did, however, bring you some goodies that will hopefully be a little bit of a distraction. Let me just find the place here. bring a little bit they have like um, lip gloss in here some lotion a few things just to make you feel a little more comfortable and let's see where can I right here and then I went <laughs> I went a little bit overboard on the magazines You're probably pretty bored in here, yeah? Okay, so I grabbed everything I could find, and... I don't even know what this magazine is called, because... The name is covered. No idea. Okay, but the mysterious no-name... again. Dirt poor Tory spelling. Yeah, okay. And I got gold buckle, which I don't even know. This is like a cowboy thing. I've never seen this magazine. Look. So I guess this is like the country magazine. Interesting. Okay, so then I got a Vogue. This one looks like it has a million of these little advertisement cards. Oh, but we have, look at this, a sample of some Chanel makeup. So that's exciting. something like a crossword or sudoku which I don't even know how to do but we can figure it out and hold on I thought I got I thought I got a people am I lying to myself let's see we have a Vogue, gold buckle oops choir in touch star yes the answer is yes Is your water right here? Okay. There's no ice. Do you want me to go get you some ice? Okay. Well, here. Let me just get this straw for you. Okay. 
How is the food here, by the way? Good. That's good to hear. So it's not like completely miserable. Are there any hot doctors? <laughs> I have to ask, okay. So. What would you, do you want to go through a magazine? Do you want to do a puzzle? Oh yeah, we can definitely do that. Actually, I've just grabbed it. So, I didn't like go super crazy. I got some blush just because I thought you might like having a little bit of color. And then I also brought some different lip glosses as well as a hand cream, which is brand new. Use some color. So you can even keep this brush, but look, it's got a little like Hello Kitties on the handle. Open this because it's brand new. it up because the tip is pink. Evidently I didn't think that part through.
on the tip of your nose. a few different lip gloss options here for us. So, first I have the lip smacker ones that have a little bit... Okay, no, they don't all. So this one has some shimmer in it, and then these ones are just clear and let's see. Oh, that smells really good. Smell this. Yeah, it smells really good. This one, it says cotton candy, but it smells like to me. Yeah, you do. And then, let's see what other flavors we got. Strawberry. Okay, so this one is watermelon, so let's compare. But then I also got oh don't fall. Some of the old school like Y2K lip gloss. And let's pop them open. Oh they're sealed, double sealed. That's kind of a waste. But they have all of these different flavors. how to go about doing this. Oh, there's a scissor in here. That's interesting. Okay. It's a lot more subdued than the uh, lip smackers. This 
smells good, huh? And we have peach. Actually, I think this one so far is my favorite. others in the um, little case. Orange is really good. Yeah, you can just leave that out for a sec. It has kind of like this fresh, clean smell. air freshener smell. Looks back. cute pack, by the way. I thought so. Okay. So, okay, we have 
have here the watermelon, strawberry, cotton candy, tropical punch, and the shimmer is sponge sugar. Smells like vanilla. Yeah, let's see what the strawberry smells like. No, yeah, it's a bit strong. We have not smelled the tropical punch. a good choice. Do you want to find out why Jennifer Aniston has not dated in five years? I don't know if this is like a tabloid magazine or if this is like an actual like semi-reliable source. Oh, and 27 years later, yet again, they know who killed John Benet Ramsey. Also have Jonah Hill's shocking slim down. Very shocking. He definitely did work. I actually would not have recognized him if it wasn't for the uh but I'm telling us it's him. It's okay. She's a closet collector of miniature light-up Christmas villages. Me too. Oh, and we can take a tour of Gwyneth's Montecito guest house, which she's listed on Airbnb. Ay, ay, ay. A second, are these supposed to be oh, okay? So they're both wearing the same top, and then these women are wearing the same dress but a different color. And I don't really know how you would compare these because they all have different personalities, and like hers fits her suits her better, I think, because she has sort of that sassy stance, I think with the blazer it works, and for her but that just looks really nice and elegant yeah, you know what I mean? so like she has it with this like beautiful line here but then she covered it 
but it still like looks flattering on her figure, so it's just another one of those situations where the media is forcing us to compare women, really, isn't it? Yeah. Celebrity collector. So, okay, for Leonardo, for Leo, it says for a guy who date, only dates supermodels, and I was like, sorry, does he collect supermodels? Like, he has like a showroom, but now he collects vintage action figures. And then, okay, so Adele has light up miniature Christmas villages. Janet Jackson. So her brother Michael used to call her pig, so she collects pigs. Way to own it, honey. Chris Pratt, um, she has a, they have a bug collection. Him and Anna Ferris. And Tom Hanks owns hundreds of typewriters. Where do you store? Demi has 2,000 dolls. That would creep me out. Yeah, I'm not a doll person. Not since watching Tommy Knockers. So I was expecting like a Kim Kardashian kind of decor, like you know how she has the very minimal white and like the nude tones in her house, but Gwyneth's um, Airbnb actually just looks very like, like beachy cottage type. That's actually cozy looking. That is not at all what I was expecting. Yeah, right? Loser of the week, Kim Kardashian, the billionaire reality star, is slammed for being tone deaf after she encourages followers to get a full body scan to detect disease, which costs twenty five hundred dollars. I don't think we need to call her the loser of the week. I mean, it's kind of within her range. I think she meant well with it. She just wasn't thinking on a level. She was on, um, oh, what is the name of that? It was like a celebrity dating show on MTV, I think, in the 90s. Oh, I cannot think of what it's called. It'll come to me. Do you remember? Yeah, I cannot. No idea. So we have Travis and Court, but then we also have Chloe and Tristan, and it looks like like a double date couples photo. Are they back together? I mean, I know they just had a 
son. I really hope she didn't go back. I mean, it's her life and they have two kids together, so I, I'm not going to judge her for it. I just want... I will think that she deserves to be treated better than he's treated her, but I also believe that people can change. But it is kind of a breath of fresh air to see Courtney and Travis when they're not like sucking face. I sort of have a hard time watching um, the Kardashians now because of those two. It's not because that the PDA bothers me, but I have misophonia and the kissing, like. Eva Longoria looks good. It's interesting to see some of these older celebrities that they're still being featured in magazines. It's nice, to be honest. <laughs> I love that these two have, like, teamed up. It's, like, such an unexpected partnership. You know what I mean? a good thing. I've actually been watching, um, she has a show, and I think it's on Roku, and she, um, talks about her, well, so far the episodes I've watched are about her estate and how she's been planting all of these trees, and I've actually learned a lot in terms of my own gardening from her because, like, I don't know, I just how to use compost, how to plant certain things, like the order of operations, I found really interesting. Okay, so we have Jonah Hill and his shocking slim down, but of course they find like the most <laughs> unflattering possible photo that they could use for their comparisons here. Be interesting if they were flattering. So, okay, you ready for this? Learning to love again. Jennifer Aniston hasn't dated anyone in five years, but she's ready to open her heart for the right man. Brad Pitt broke her heart, and Justin Theroux, they're just right. Thoreau? Thoreau? I don't know how to pronounce it. I saw, I know him from um, Mulholland Drive and The Leftovers. It's an interesting matchup. No, we don't need to read this whole article. Don't worry. Who should Jen date? What do we think? We have... Jason Sudeikis, so Ted Lasso. We have Brad Pitt, which is he not still with Angelina? Oh, she professed to him that she will love him for the rest of her life. He is a fantastic man. We have Bradley Cooper, which that could be a cute match, I think. Chris Pine. said, um, after he cut off his long hair, his publicist said, I looked like Rachel from Friends. We have Michael B. Jordan, which he seems kind of young to me for her. I like him, but I think he's probably a bit young. And Joe Manganiello? Is he not married to Sofia Vergara? Vergara? I have no idea. <sighs> Sean Monet. We're gonna skip this because I think we are all over that. We are the new drama club. 
the Real Housewives of New York City. Real Housewives is not my reality show. I like Love Island. But UK, not US. I watched a few US, but it's just not. I don't know. I like UK better. And then we have Hailey Bieber and her supersized style. Which, that middle one kind of looks like she's wearing like a, like a hefty bag or something. I don't know, I'm not a fan. I do like her pants. These remind me of um, the pants I used to wear in the late 90s when I used to be a lifer girl. don't have any fat, which I think is fascinating. Hey, do you mind stepping out for just a moment? I need to do oh, yeah. a quick exam and then we can cut right back. Yeah, of course. I don't want to do I'll be right back, okay? Thank you. visitors today. Breaks up the monotony a bit, yeah? I'm really excited for you. Because I know it can definitely turn into sort of just like Groundhog's Day limbo in here. I promise I'll make this pretty quick, okay? Just need to do a few things. First of which is listen to your chest, okay? So sorry if this is a little cold here. into your neck, all right, on each side. So, there you go. Can I get you to take a deep breath and then hold it? And breathe out. other side. Deep breath in. Hold it. And out. Okay. You can breathe normally. I'm just going to listen to your tummy.
everything sounds good. Nice and soft. Okay, then not tender. Okay. Just making sure. Okay. Let me just take a look at your face here, real quick, okay? Just making sure. open for me, okay? Keep your head square, just like that. And I want you to follow my light, just using your eyes, not turning your head. I want you to tell me how many fingers I am holding up, right?
let's go ahead and do your dressing change and then I will step out and your friend can come back in, okay? Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Your decision is looking quite a bit better. It's still a bit of erythema at present, but it's definitely decreased since yesterday. Good. I'm just going to take a quick measurement, okay? Be as gentle as I can.
bottles tend to have such a fine mist that sometimes it can go a lot farther than expected. Just gonna apply some new Paracin ointment and then we'll put on a new bandage and then I will be done. edges in here so none of them come peeling up alright so you are all set so I'm just gonna take my garbage I'm going to go here and step out and I will go and let your friend know that they can come back in. Can I get you anything before I step out? You're okay? Okay. Well, like, you know, just push the call button if you need anything and I'll come right back. Did you miss me terribly? So, 
we got to the crossword. You want to try it? First one, one across is lip blank, chapstick for example, and out of four letters. Yeah, I think you're right, it's probably lip balm. Okay. Five, so I have five across, three letters. Good score for a golf hole. Golf hole. <laughs> Shh, you heard nothing. Yeah, I think it's par. Okay, eight across. Blank wrap. An unfair accusation. Bad wrap. across blank 51 rumored UFO site. I know that one. That would be area 51. Okay. Blank Mendes of the women. Yep. Eva. Okay. This one I don't know. 13 across in blank occupied. Three letters. Fourteen across, and we're in the right place for this one. Nursing assistant, and it is four letters. Yeah, I don't know either. Eighteen across, with twenty across. Two thousand seven crime movie with interest Elba. Is it interest or interest? Yeah, we can go. We can go back to these after we do the downs. We're then twenty-two fluid and twenty-nine across. So wait a second. That's twenty-two. And twenty-nine is ball tip or oh, ball point or felt tip. So that would make twenty-two ink. across is helium or neon. That would be a gas. Twenty-five acquires platform. Five letters. You're right. across DiMatteo of Sons of Anarchy Is that the person from um, The Sopranos? The, the woman? The blonde lady? I think Wait, is it Sopranos or is she from Desperate Housewives? Maybe it's Desperate Housewives I don't remember We can go back okay, 32 across Chicken Blank King Three letters Oh, chicken all the king, yeah. Okay. 
33, The Simpsons Kids, four letters. That could be either Lisa or Bart. But looking at... Well, I don't know. We will... Let's go back to that one when we do the down. Okay, 34, across is blank, drink, and be merry. Three letters. Eat, yeah. 35, blank, miles, blank, gallon, three letters. Miles per gallon, yeah. Add to the poker pot. Three letters across. Or three letters. Bet. I think it's bet, and we can always change it. Thirty-seven across is Princess in Disney's Frozen, and that could be either Anna or Elsa. So we'll come back. 38 across is Jet Blank, Traveler's Woe. Yeah, Jet Lag. Oh yeah, if this is wearing you out, we don't have to finish this. We can just look at the magazines. Or you can take a nap and I can, I can go. It's totally up to you. Okay, well, we'll do that instead. I think we're about done with this one anyway. Let's see if there's anything. in the cards. Be prepared for anything, even if it means leaving a relationship, moving to a new city, or taking on new responsibilities at the office. Lucky number two. Yeah, I don't know. Reading some of these, I feel like these are pretty bluey. necessarily is, but I think that the horoscopes in these magazines can be. Alright, we'll put that one to the side. Okay, so we'll skip the puzzles and games. I'm going to flip it over here just to see. Looks like it has some interesting stuff in here and some variety, so that's cool. Julia Roberts. It's like she's not aged a day. She looks almost exactly the same like when she was in probably not Mystic Pizza, but she really hasn't she doesn't have really any motive for aging. And it also doesn't really even look like she's had any kind of filler because she still has like some lines under her eyes. Maybe she has because she doesn't have tear troughs, but it could also just be editing. But 
but she looks good. Oh. Isabella Rosalini. I first saw her in Blue Velvet, which was a bit of a disturbing movie. We have Prada with Hunter. Is it Hunter Schaefer? Is that her name? From Euphoria? Some interesting pants going on here. Is that a skirt? These pants or is this a skirt? The doily situation is interesting and I don't love it, but then they have the Prada emblem, which I'm guessing is metal because that's what it generally is. Or plastic. It just looks kind of like an afterthought. hasn't updated their backs very much. They still have that way. Like, like this back to me. I think it's called a carpet bag. Reminds me of like one of those bags that like people keep their like knitting or crocheting supplies in. like they've been shopping for the old Alicia Prada with the oversized quilting. This bag, for example, to me, it looks like it would just be kind of clunky. Like, I like the retro look to it. But I don't really like the bamboo handle. Hermes. Which is like the equestrian brand. Filthy rich and need everybody to know it. Some really nice lines. Like I do like how this outfit flows together, but I don't want to know. I forgot about the rock and roll. What the? Okay, so what is going on here? Is this, it looks like she's wearing the. 
the bodysuit over the pants. This is the new style. Interesting. It kind of reminds me of like the leotards um, that women would wear to um, aerobics classes in the 80s. contents here. Wait a second. So as it's saying that this doesn't actually start in articles until page 122. Oh yeah, the table of contents here is on page 87. This is quite the outfit here. It reminds me of when I was in Zurich. Some of the people there were wearing. I went to go visit my father in law who lives there. Well, he lives in Basel, but he was, he had a gig playing in a um, hotel called the feeder. He is a pianist, so he travels all around and plays in different bars in Switzerland. And I think Austria as well. This looks like Elf Yeah, I think it is. I like that suit on her. Even with the uh, shoulder pads. Which I think it's interesting that those have come back. But it makes some really cool lines.
get a monster. Whoa. This is quite the um, situation here. Especially with the. I think her rings are. You know, obviously this is just for the photo, but I wonder if there is a situation where someone would wear this. It would definitely be fun. It does make her look very... here it kind of reminds me of um, Lucille Bluth. <laughs> Sorry, my tummy is ugly. <clears throat> oh wow, they're all wearing it. This is like the new style, I guess. So we have some different tints. And I'm just gonna open how oh, the whole thing comes up. I'm just gonna open the one on the end just because I don't want to make a mess that could sort of match my tint match my tone. I don't want to put it on you because I'm guessing it'd probably be pretty uncomfortable to be wearing foundation. So let's Okay. 
stay here till you fall asleep. That's fine. Are you warm enough? Do you want me to see if I can get you like a blanket or anything? Okay. I'm totally happy to go flack somebody in the hall. Okay. It's fine. I'll just sit here and look through my magazine here and you go ahead and close your eyes and drift off, alright? I came here to see you. I'm happy to spend all the time here, even if you're asleep. <laughs> 